Uh, I remember back when I was, what, maybe five or six years old, um, I was staying with my dad at the time, and the apartment we were in caught fire. Um, apparently, a, a little kid threw a match into the dryer downstairs, and that's what set the place on fire. And some guy knocks on the door, and I remember answering it, and he's like, Hey, uh, the building's on fire. I thought I might tell you guys. And we're, I'm like, What? Oh my god, no, there's a fire. So the first thing I do is I tell my dad, and then I run straight out of the house. Right? Like a, like a good kid, you're supposed to not stay in the house when it's on fire. And, uh... <laughs> and it just turns out, like, a few days before that, I got a new pair of shoes. Like, brand new $50 pair of shoes. But I didn't take it with me. I, you know, because I ran straight out of the house. And, uh, as soon as my dad realized that, he got really upset. And he ran back into the burning building to find my shoes. It's funny, like, he, he searches through the building, he does get my shoes eventually, and then after that, for some reason, he, he decides that he, he's going to run back in there again and try and save as much stuff as he possibly can. So I, I distinctly remember following him back into the apartment, and he's grabbing up lamps and desk and everything he can, and trying to rush it out of the apartment before it burns down. And he's just like totally freaking out. <laughs> it's, it, uh, it's just stupid. I mean, I, I remember he, like, by the second or third trip, the whole place was covered in smoke and everything. And he was just so freaked out and upset that he, he's like, Oh, you son of a bitch! And he just punches a hole in the wall and starts, like, just breaking down. And me and my brother had to, like, practically drag him out of the house. Uh, it, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to, to remember these things. I don't think we had any kind of insurance at the time too, so that's, that's part of the reason why he was so upset. Everything we had burned except for the, the lamps and the shoes and a few other things we managed to save. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, I guess you could say I, I have my own fire story. It's a little bit different from an oven fire, but, uh... Uh, shoot, we're at 42 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until it's at about one hour, and then I'll stop and, uh, encode the video and stuff, and we'll, we'll keep streaming, but I'll stop for, like, five minutes. Did I just go the wrong way, like a moron? I did, didn't I? Chat, you're, you're supposed to tell me these things. You're supposed to tell me, hey, you idiot. You're, you're supposed to go that way. And stuff. What about the TV, you say? Um, I'm pretty sure the TV was burned in that fire. Yeah, there was no virus. There was just a little kid playing with matches. Uh... My brother once told me that he once, when he was a kid, he played with matches once and he feels really bad that he was part of like a group that burned down a forest or something. And that's when he like learned responsibility was when something like that happened. Of course I wasn't born yet, he's, much, he's, he's like 15 or 16 years older than me. So uh, this was before my time. Hitting with this. See, it, it's been too long since I played this. I don't even remember where to get the Um, there we go. This, this is where that one guy was, right? Yeah. You don't go that way, so you go this way. Um, gosh, I don't remember. Well, you know what? I can just kill these guys with cannons. So I'm gonna do that because, hey, I need the money, right? Times are tough. Up, down, left, or right. Go. Wait, that's the way we came in from. This is a loop, right? So then, down. Alright. 
I better start using the turbo button a little more. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally! Someplace new! Sorry, gotta have to put up with these viruses. No escape ship and uh, sucky folder. Let's get to that. Alright. Teleport to new area. Hooray. Okay. Up or down? Let's go up. Shotgun Q. Uh, I'm gonna go down. Okay. Extinguish this fire, maybe. Hmm. Little bomb T, huh? Uh, do I go to the left and talk to that program, or do I go down? What do you guys think uh, in the chat room here? My instinct tells me to go left, but uh, I don't know. I'm almost out of these ice block things. I think I'm going the right way, because that guy sounds like he's in the... Do I want to use this? Oh no, that's a T code. I might actually use some of these shockwave Ks. Yeah, we'll, we'll take out the shotguns and do shockwave. There we go. So, save the game because I think we're almost at the boss here. Hey, there he is. I chose correctly, apparently. Apparently we gotta fight some cannon viruses first. Alright, we'll just shockwave this guy. Wait a turn. Kill these guys normally. Why not, right? Alright, here's our first boss battle of the game. Not counting Guts Man, I guess. Um, I think in this game he's, what, Fireman, but then, uh, in the, I think in the anime he, he was Torchman, wasn't he? Isn't that what they called him? You're a World 3 Net Navi, aren't you? Your mischief ends here. Well, with a guy... With a name like Mr. Match, you would expect him to be burning stuff, I guess. Give it your best shot, Mega Man. Alright, battle against Fireman. You don't even get to see his name in the upper right corner in this game, unfortunately. Okay, so... I don't remember his pattern, so I might die, <laughs> which would be kind of embarrassing, but, um, well, that's just how it is. I don't have any program advances either. I guess we'll just use this. Ah! Whoa, boy. Quit burning my panels. Um. Okay. Ow! He completely stopped my chip with that. Oh boy! I don't know what he's about to do, but it doesn't look fun. Ow! Take that. Okay, so he hops around a few times and then he, he powers up for an attack, apparently. Take that! Ok, 
Okay, if you hit him right before his attack, apparently that stops him. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't don't throw stuff at me, man. Wait, I don't have any other deep type chips. Uh, ah, my my panels are on fire. Come on, dude. Yes, got him. Okay, so if I can hit him with this chip, I will win. So can I do it? No, that's not gonna. Ow! Why couldn't I move? I hit up. I know I did. Gotcha. Oh, that was pretty terrible. Yeah, I deserve that prank too. Ouch. Uh, whatever. It's a victory. I win. You lose. I blame the chips and lag. I, I totally blame lag because I couldn't move fast enough on that one time. So yeah, apparently they invaded my, my home oven because there's a program in here. They need to conquer the world. Uh, yeah, like that, that makes a whole lot of sense, right? You're, you're gonna stick an, an important program like that in somebody's oven. And look, there's not any kind of fire damage at all, apparently. Either that or Lan's mom is very, very good at cleaning. Yeah, all I did was give you battle chips. No, well, it was only the first time, but they'll never control the net. Not if I can help it. Okay, we'll wait. Come on, yeah. You're hungry? Dude, you should get a glass of water or something. I bet you your face is all covered in soot from standing here for like 20 minutes waiting on your, your net navy to put out the fire. Alright, so we gotta go ahead and, so here, we'll turn in, several days after the strange oven explosions. Okay, I'm actually going to stop the recording here and uh, give it a few minutes to encode or whatever, and I'm going to keep streaming for you guys, but um, we're, I don't want the video file to be way too long. Um, so just give me about two or three minutes and I'll continue, so hold on a minute.